So what I did is I actually found a kit where we could buy the base and the legs and the mechanical fastener to put them together. Look at that. Okay. So if you've got the legs and the base, all we really need to do is build the top. Correct. So I bought some maple to match the leg and the base. Next thing we need to do is cut them to length and glue them up. Let's do it. With the boards cut to length, now we'll just put some glue on them and clamp them up. All right, so the glue is set up. We'll get the clamps off and we'll sand it flat. All right, now we want to cut our top in a circle. And to make a real accurate circle, I'm going to cut it with a router. I could cut it with a jigsaw, but it would require a lot more work after we cut it. So if you're going to do it with a router, we're talking about some sort of jig, right? That's right. And I've got a jig. So first thing I want to do is I want to find the center of the board in both directions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a little hole right here as a reference. Okay, now, this is the jig that I made to ride my router on. I'm gonna do a 22 inch circle, so I need 11 inch radius. The screw is my center point. First thing I'm gonna do is drive the screw through the board so it sticks out the bottom. Now I take the screw and line it up with my hole. Right. There. Okay, so now I'm just going to push down on the board a little bit. I'm going to back the screw out, push down on the board, and drive it back into the hole. That seats the board nice and tight. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my router and cut it with a straight cutting bit in the router yep. and a templating guide right here that will fit into that hole. I don't want any chattering around the edge from the router bit, so I want to make my cut in three passes. Now we have a perfect circle. To finish off this edge, we're actually going to use a roundover bit. With the bearing on it, we'll follow the edge and clean it up. All right, we sanded all of our pieces and then we wiped all the dust off with a tack rag. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do is put a finish on it. And what are you thinking for a uh, finish? I think I'm going to use a tongue oil. We're going to put it on with a rag. Okay. Now, I like to wipe the first or second coats on before we assemble it. Easy to get into those hard to get places. Now, the one thing about tongue oil and rags, if you bunch them up and put them in a corner, they can generate a lot of heat, cause spontaneous combustion, and cause a fire. So what I like to do is open them up and drop them in a bucket of water. All right, with our first coat of tongue oil on and dry, it's time to assemble. Now I'm going to screw this piece of wood onto the underside of the top perpendicular to the grain to keep the board from whopping. And I'm going to put the legs on the base. It actually has a mechanical fastener. It's like a keyhole slot. This half is embedded into the leg. And then these screws in the base have this little flange. And you slide this in, and it grabs it, and then you just tap it tight. Now the pre-drill holes in the board that goes under the top are actually bigger than the diameter of the screw. The reason they are is that when the top expands and contracts, the screw can move in the hole. Now those are nice and tight. Nice sturdy base. Before we put the top on, we'll put a little glue around that dowel. All right, that's okay. good. Now we'll just take it, flip it over, Put it in the center hole, tap it down with my mouth. All right, I think we're in. Let's see how it looks. Oh, there yeah. you go. Very elegant, right? Nice, simple design, Tommy. I think the shakers would be proud. I think they would.